guys, it's Seeking Jade here and today I'm going to be doing a unboxing of this Beacon Box 5 Dark Fate Special Edition box in collaboration with Kendra Blake. Little unboxing, so without further ado, let's get this video on the way. So this is the top of the box, which is obviously has the font, the text, the logo of Beacon Box. There's these two pieces here that kind of look like moons and they also look like eyes, quite curious. There is full shield details on the box. There's a snakes, kind of looks like a starry night. It is quite nice. And it says shining lights on amazing books. This is from beaconbox.com. And it says here, no one really wants to be a queen, three dark crowns. This is one of the last books in the Three Dark Queen series. And as you can see, this box is a little bit battered because that's because it's come from all the way from America and it's had a little bit of a trek to get here. So without further ado, let's get this boxing un underway. As you can see, it is quite jam packed. So let's free this from its box and it's quite heavy. So let's put this down somewhere where I have space down here hopefully it doesn't fall um so here is the card and it tells you a little bit about it um we hope you enjoy your five dark fate special box we are honored to di have direct input from kendra blake and to share ideas with her was truly amazing we hope you enjoy this box as much as we um as much as we did putting it together um, I'm not going to read through this because otherwise then it's going to be no point watching this because then you're going to see it so I will kind of read this as I'm doing this so bear with me as I try and do this. So first up is the Three Sisters Blanket um, designed by Nash Letters. Let's get this open. It smells quite good. There must be something nice, nice smelling in this box. Oh. You're not really going to see it very well, so what I'm going to have to do is input some footage of me sort of filming it, because otherwise I'm not going to be able to show you the full item, so if you just bear with me, I will get that filmed, so I will show you the full footage of it right now. So here is the blanket, it has this really nice flame like detailing, it has the crown, more of the flames going down it has some vines and some flowers which is a bit of a nod to like the sort of naturalist and poisoners there's a crown at the bottom and a crown over here so that represents the sort of that there is three queens oh bear with me three three dark sisters all fair to be seen Two to devour and one to be queen. Three dark crowns. So this is actually a quote from the first book, which is kind of a little poem. The intro It's like a little poem introduction you have that there's um, obviously three sisters, the three queens. They're all quite beautiful, but only one can be queen. And as I'm just looking over this, I realise there's Sweetheart. So there's a nice little nod to Sweetheart in here only just noticed it because she is only on one side but this is really quite cute i really do quite like it it is a nice cute um a nice quote and it is one of my favorite quotes so i definitely will be using this and this is extremely soft so this is definitely something i will be using next up is a candle which is queen catherine mm, that smells really good that that is good um what is the fragrance it is red wine elderberry and lily of the valley lily of the valley sorry i can't get my words out today that smells really good if they had like sm like smell of vision like you would absolutely adore this this smells so good and it says here it is a three queens candles from novelly yours um, you randomly received a queen, um, as, I can't, um, 
um, a Queen Maribel or a Queen Catherine can um, candle, please click um, Okay, so you can get all three, but ironically, um, Queen Catherine is my favourite queen, so I got her, so I'm quite happy with that. So that was quite lucky today. Moving on, we have dropping it. We have a little tapestry of all of the queens in quite a nice art. So we have Queen Marbella, Queen Catherine, and Queen Arizona. I don't know, can't really pronounce her name, but it is really quite nice. Has the artist signature quite at the bottom so this is a nice um I'm not sure what it is it's like a fleecy material it's definitely not like a tea towel um what does it say on here oh it's a three queens tapestry dyed um designed by Rachel dot hanky 27 so that's a tapestry so I will probably have to find some way to display this probably attach it somehow oh I remember it's got a little locust flower there that's quite nice little locust obviously fire for um Marbel Maybell Marbel um a snake for Catherine and a little flower crown so it's nice how their like um crowns are a representation of their abilities abilities and question marks because obviously two of them are um not gonna say because if you've not read the books and obviously that's a spoiler but it's nice how they have crowns that are meant to be represent reminiscent of their powers so I'm gonna have to find some way to hang this up so um that'll be fun to try and find a way to do that next up is a pillowcase saying I want revenge and then I want my crown which is a quote from Catherine at the end of Three Dark Queens. I think it is quite cute. It has um, like little flowers and a little poison bottle. Quite cute on both sides. So that is the Catherine inspired throw pillow cover designed by Bianca.design. Um, if I'm saying anyone's name so wrong, I'm sorry. I'm terrible at pronouncing things. So you're just gonna have to deal with me hashing it. Oh, this is supposed to be smelling so good. I could, all of these items have smelt like something and I couldn't work out what it is. And it's from this soap, which is the Gill Spice um, book soap. Um, it is roasted almonds, ancient tombs, um, cinnamon, clove, light musk, and Liberian shushes. This smells so good. Like, this is one of the wounds I wish you could smell this. You can smell the cinnamon and the almonds. This smells so good. I, 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 I've got a problem. Like, if I have really nice, I just, I can't use it. I just want to smell it. So I probably won't use this. It will probably just go in one of my drawers to make my clothes smell nice. So um, I might, may end up smelling like cinnamon and almonds for the rest of my life because this is going to go into my clothes drawer. It's just too good, it just smells too good to use. I'm sorry, it's just, it is so good. So, so good. And this is when I find it. Having, um, Luke Gillsby's soap and spa, um, designed by Little Berries. Bear, it's not as in like berries, it's as in like bear. So it's like berries. Moving on, what do we have next? Oh, I think this is the poster. This is meant to be the um, poster sort of slash um, Queen Catherine's royal painting. Spoilers. So Queen Catherine's um, royal painting, so it has um, sweetheart and also a little poison vial so this is meant to be her queen portrait she is stunning absolutely stunning beautiful absolutely beautiful 
It is signed by the artist and this is 141 out of 500. The only shame is, is when it was um, rolled up, it was covered in an elastic band. So it's kind of got this warping and um, also you can see like these dents where it's not very round. So I'm gonna have to like flatten this out and hope I can remove some of these like creases out of it because this is definitely something really nice and Queen Catherine is my favorite. And when I found out, I think when they first like were hinting it, they were like, oh, there's a Queen Catherine um, queen portrait. And I was like, I need that. Queen Catherine is my favorite. I need this. So this is one of the main selling points is for me was the Queen Catherine poster. Um, I think we're slowly getting to the end. So that was, that was um, the signed slash numbered print Queen Catherine's Royal um, Royal paint Portrait designed by Alaruni Art. I hope I'm saying that right. This is the book bag cover. I do like this with a lot of these um, like book delivery comp um, like book, like box companies. They do like these um, like book covers because sometimes I take my books to work and they get a little bit battered. So it's actually quite a good idea because it has like a fleece line, not quite fleece. Um, it's kind of like stuffing, but it's not quite stuffing. It's like a sheet of wadding. It's wadding wadding than fabric and then obviously you use it to protect your book so this is quite squidgy and quite good so this would be quite good for me to use to stop my work and my books getting battered and um, this has the familiars on it so it has the bear it has um the cougar it has the crows wee little paw prints got the crowns i think that's all it shows is the bears the cougar and the crows that is the um, familiar book sleeve designed by SJ Wonders Lands with a Z. And we have the signed edition book. <laughs> I hate when books have stickers on them because I worry when I take them off it's going to ruin it. So I'm going to have to take that off soon saying that it's a signed first edition because uh, the uh, stains the book and then you get glue and then the glue doesn't come off and it's internal screaming and one thing I find very curious with American books if you don't know if you notice here but it's like textured all of the books in the UK especially hardbacks are all smooth so this is very very curious it's all like where it's very really smooth here this is how all hardback UK books are so it's really odd to have this where it's sort of like not smooth all the pages are at like different lengths in the uk they would all be smooth like flush clean so that's one thing i'm really curious about this also has the um exclusive content that was exclusive to beacon box i'm not going to show that in case anyone pauses it and reads it because it is exclusive to the um beacon box maybe at some point I will read it, I don't know. It's just that is exclusive content and I don't want to read it to you guys because then it may spoil the book. So I can't do that. But this was one of the, again, one of the reasons why I pre-ordered the book was because the exclusive content. I thought it was gonna be like extra pages in the book. I didn't realize it was gonna be like a piece or two of paper, but now that means I've tried and protect it because then I'm worried. So I thought it was actually extra pages, but I'm waffling. I am waffling. I am sorry. I am waffling. Um, so that is the signed book and plus the bonus content from, um, plus the con bonus content. It is a signed, it is a signed copy and I'm not going to be reading it because it is a signed copy. I have a UK edition which is on its way so I will be reading that copy I won't be reading this one because I don't read signed books if I have signed books I have two copies my signed copy and then my normal copy because I don't want to ruin it and I do love the American covers much more than the UK ones I just like how it's so black and it's sleek it's very nice so very nice very sleek so let me continue with this waffle. I do apologize, I am waffling a lot with this. And it's hot, really, really hot. Oh, 
this is a little pot of chamomile tea. This is quite funny. I drink a lot of chamomile tea. So this is um, Precess Lucia's, Lucia's Calming Chamomile Tea. Um, and it's a little vial. It has instructions on how to brew it. I think it's quite cute. It looks like a little poison vial. So I don't know if you can see all the flowers and everything in there. But this does make me laugh because I drink a lot of chamomile tea. So um, I don't know if I'll be using it because it looks so nice and it's so pa it's packaged so nicely. So I don't know if I want to use it or leave it. Mm. But yeah, it's quite funny because I do love chamomile tea. So that is the tea. Um, Priestess Lucia's Calming Calamel Tea by the Simply Bookish Co. And we have the pin, which has the icon from the Poisoners, the Naturalists, the Elementals, and the Warriors. Um, bear with me a moment while I read. I can't find it. Um, the Fern, the Fern Burn, cre I'm sorry, I'm saying the Fern Burn Crest Enamel Pin by JS Wonders Land. Oh, okay, so JS Wonderland had two items. They had the familiar book sleeve and also this pin. It's quite a cute pin. I probably won't use it. I will probably put it on display. Um, it's quite cute. It's got a little eye. So eye for the Sears, Poisoners, Elementalists, Naturalists. Um, the warriors and it has like roses and obviously the crown and it looks like little snakes there or it might just be a swirly design but that is quite nice I probably won't use it so I may end up just like displaying it so I might make a um like a pin flag thing and pop that on there it's not something I would take out of the house because if I lose it I'll be like so mad at myself and on to the last items and I didn't know that we were going to get these. I thought we were only just going to get like the one artwork. But we actually got artwork of Catherine again and Pierre. And she's got sort of a grey background. Sorry about the shine off. But she is gorgeous. Very regal. Little sweetheart. Then we have... Um, Julian and Joseph and I'm forgetting the cougar's name, bear with me one moment. Um, and Camden, Camden looks very gorgeous, very stunning. She's got a red background. Then we have Queen Marbelle. We got Brie and Elizabeth, and I love how. Um, she has like a blue tint, sort of a bluish tint to her, so her hair's more like a midnight colour. So it's like a midnight blue, it is very gorgeous, she looks very regal. I love how she's got her electric and it's all dividing, it is gorgeous. And finally we have Queen, um, I can't pronounce her name, Queen Arzernu. I can't say it now, I apologise. Um, Billy and Bradbock, the bear. I love how it's got this rose detailing and it has like this red tint. So um, the queen has like a reddish tint. And we'll see all of the background sort of signify their powers because obviously all well, their powers, or not quite powers, but obviously Catherine's looks like poison vials and snakes, which is very hinting of the poisoner background. Jolene looks like it has like weapons maybe? Not sure. Like flowers. It looks kind of like swords. Not 100% sure, but obviously my bowie weapons. So this is quite nice. I will probably frame these. So these are. Sorry about me, it is warm here. These are the group character car cards designed by Diane. Diane D. Wall Art. So I have to say this book, um, this book box has been pretty good. There are quite a few items I like here. I wasn't like 100% sure what we were going to get. I had a feeling it was going to, I knew that there was going to be the throw, the pillowcase, obviously the book, um, and the signed poster. 
but everything else I wasn't sure of and I have to say these art cards I'm definitely going to be framing them because it is you don't really get much three dark queens three dark queens of fan art and this is very quite beautiful I will be framing those I will be finding a way to like display that tapestry I will definitely be using that um book cover because um my books get a little bit mad and it breaks my heart that throw I will be using because I absolutely love throws and I cannot say no to another one to my collection so all in all I have really quite like, enjoyed this book box um after it was it was kind of a little bit expensive no, I mean, like, the items were, like, good quality and everything was, like, worth the value. It was just expensive getting it here because, obviously, I'd pay shippings, the shipping costs, which I was like, okay, fair. And then when it got here, I'd then pay import costs. So it was already about £75 with the box and the shipping. And the shipping was, like, $35, so a big obviously a big chunk was like obviously shipping so obviously the shipping and obviously that was se translates about 75 pounds then i had to pay import costs which was like 15 pounds so that was like 90 pounds to get it here well it's 90 pounds including the whole toss of the book so it was quite expensive but obviously it's not something i do every day i don't always buy book boxes this is like the first one i've ever brought and i only brought this because like Three Dark Queens merchandise, anything related to it is like impossible to get. And because it was the last box, the last book, I was like, okay, I really enjoyed this book se um, series. I will treat myself just this once and treat myself. So all in all, yes, it was definitely good quality. The only downside was obviously the import cost, but that's nothing that can be done. That does happen a lot in the UK that they're like, oh, you've imp you've paid lots of shipping costs. Now I'm gonna swap an extra bit on top. But all in all, I do think this book, this is like, this like beacon box was worth the value. It was like really good quality stuff. Like this is stuff I'm gonna like and use and display. So I would definitely recommend using um, beacon box. If you ever like want to get book related like goodie boxes, I would definitely like, go to beacon box like i recommend them but i was like i wasn't getting my shipping information and i was like worried like i get anxious and obviously i messaged them they were like that's fine don't worry here's your shipping information it's on its way like any questions i had they were like instantly replying within like a couple hours cause obviously time zones but they were like amazing their customer service was top notch so I would definitely recommend Meek and Box. They are amazing. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching my little book box hope opening for the Three Dark Queens series. Without further ado, I'll see you again soon. Toodle-doo.